so it's super dangerous. Now, changes are on the way for an intersection known for crashes and near misses. We're talking about Highway 100 near Harpeth Bend Drive in Bellevue. One man died there in April, prompting neighbors to speak up. Tonight, News Force Cameron Taylor working for you. Cameron, we understand work's going to be starting soon. Yeah, and uh, Tom and Tracy, tonight we've learned from TDOT the work is going to be starting next month. The problem is right here. You see people driving in the right lane occasionally and then suddenly merging into the left lane unexpectedly, creating a dangerous situation. Watch as Drone 4 captures two cars in the right lane of Highway 100 in Bellevue. Both merge into the left lane. It's something James Alexander sees on his drive home nearly every day. I'm routinely waiting for the person in front of me to do the last minute turn signal into the left lane. And that's the problem. It's easy to see why it's happening. The right lane quickly turns into a turn lane for Harpeth Drive, forcing you to make a decision. And that's where these accidents happen, right? Is because people are trying to continue on to turn, but the person on the left is now causing the person behind them to not know what's going on. Three months ago, 21-year-old Garrett Ply died near the intersection. Now Metro Council member Dave Rosenberg says changes are in the works. This is going to increase safety for people who live nearby and travel nearby, and that's an important thing. It'll get rid of any confusion. Now drivers going toward Harpeth Bend Drive will be funneled into one lane after passing Old Hickory Boulevard. And if they need to turn right on Harpeth, they still can. Having it be one lane and then turning into a turn lane would probably be trem a tremendous improvement. Now we asked Supply Family about these changes and they tell us if it can save someone else's life, they're on board. And of course we asked about when the project is expected to wrap up. TDOT tells us it'll be sometime in mid-November. Tom. That's what it's all about, trying to make the road safer. Cameron, thanks.